Ever heard of the WOW signal? It's not just any signal, this one is from outer space. Back in the summer of 1977, Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope picked up a strong narrowband radio signal that left astronomers stunned. The signal, which appeared to hail from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, was so unexpected and extraordinary that the astronomer who discovered it, Jerry Amon, wrote WOW next to the printout. The signal was dubbed the WOW signal, and to this day it remains one of the strongest potential candidates for an extraterrestrial radio transmission. Yet, despite decades of research and investigation, its origin remains an enigma. So what happened in 1977 that caused such an uproar? Let's dive in. August 15, 1977, a date written in the Annals of Space Exploration. An anomaly shook the scientific community. On this fateful day, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University picked up a very peculiar signal. An intensity reading that was unlike any other, a signal that seemed to shout out from the stars and into the ears of the humans below. The signal was discovered by an astronomer named Jerry R. Amon. As he scanned the printouts from the telescope, his eyes fell upon a string of alphanumeric characters, 6 EQJ5. This wasn't just another routine signal, it was loud, clear, and strong, like a beacon in the ocean of cosmic noise. The signal was so extraordinary that Amon circled it on the printout and wrote one word next to it, a word that encapsulated his astonishment and the signal's mystery. He wrote, wow. This signal, originating from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, bore the hallmarks of what could be an extraterrestrial transmission. It was a narrowband radio signal confined to one column on the printout. This wasn't static or terrestrial interference, it was something more, much more. The WOW signal lasted for 72 seconds, the longest possible time the Big Ear Telescope could observe any given point due to Earth's rotation. And then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, it was gone. The signal had vanished, leaving behind a trail of numbers on a printout and a mystery that has puzzled, intrigued, and fascinated scientists for decades. The WOW signal was a fleeting whisper from the cosmos, a brief hello that was gone before we could even begin to comprehend its significance. It was a message, perhaps, from an alien civilization or a cosmic phenomenon we are yet to understand. Whatever it was, it's a mystery that continues to captivate us, a cosmic enigma, a tantalizing hint of the wonders and mysteries the universe holds. The wow signal lasted for 72 seconds and then, just like that, it was gone. But it left a mystery that has puzzled scientists for decades. Since its detection, the wow signal has been the subject of numerous theories and researches. The signal's curious attributes have sparked a wealth of speculation, ranging from the mundane to the fantastical. One of the most intriguing aspects of the WOW signal is its frequency. The signal was detected at around 1420 megahertz, a frequency naturally emitted by hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. This has led some to suggest that the WOW signal might be a calling card from an extraterrestrial civilization broadcasting on a frequency they knew other life forms would recognize. Yet, while the extraterrestrial hypothesis is certainly the most thrilling, it's far from the only theory. Some propose that the WOW signal might have been the result of a natural cosmic phenomena, such as a pulsar or a quasar. Others have suggested that it might have been a signal reflected off a piece of space debris, or even an Earth-originating signal that bounced back off a moon or another planet. In the years since the signal's detection, researchers have made some potentially illuminating discoveries. For instance, a recent study identified three likely sun-like stars within the coordinates of the signal's origin. These stars are of particular interest because we know that sun-like stars are capable of hosting planets with conditions suitable for life. Yet even with these new findings, the WOW signal continues to defy explanation. Despite decades of research and countless theories, we still don't know what caused that strong narrowband radio signal in 1977. So, where does that leave us? Well, with more questions than answers, for sure. But each new theory, each new piece of research brings us a step closer to understanding the mysteries of our vast universe. Despite all these theories and researches, the origin of the WOW signal remains an enigma. And perhaps that's fitting. After all, what could be more emblematic of our search for extraterrestrial life than a signal from the stars that continues to elude our understanding even after all these years? The WOW signal, 
a mystery that continues to intrigue scientists and space enthusiasts alike. This unique radio signal, first detected in 1977, has captivated our collective curiosity for nearly half a century. It was discovered on a printout from Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, a surprising anomaly that led astronomer Jerry R. Eamon to exclaim, wow, in astonishment, thus giving the signal its name. The wow signal seemed to originate from the constellation Sagittarius and had all the hallmarks of an extraterrestrial origin. However, despite its striking characteristics, the signal has not been detected since that fateful day in 1977. This has led to a myriad of theories and research ranging from the plausible to the fantastical, all in an attempt to unravel the mystery of the WOW signal. Some scientists speculate that the signal could be the result of a distant alien civilization attempting to contact us. Others suggest more down-to-earth explanations like interference from satellites or spacecraft, yet all these theories remain just that, theories. The truth behind the WOW signal still eludes us. Will we ever discover the true origin of the WOW signal? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the WOW signal will always remain a fascinating chapter in our quest to explore the universe.